Okay, so this video, let's focus on uh, balancing chemical equations. And when we say balancing chemical equations, what do we mean? First, to balance a chemical equation, you need to know the following. You need to know the symbol, okay, or the formula of compounds and elements. So, you need to know the symbol or formula, okay, of elements and compounds in that equation. Then, the other one is, you need to know the state symbols. You need to know the state symbols. State what? Symbols. Now, we have four state symbols. The first one is solid. That's a symbol. Then, it, the other one is liquid. Which is like that. The other one is gas, which is G, and the other one is aquas. Which is a Q. So these are the four state symbols that we have. The other thing that you need to know when it comes to balancing chemical equations, you need to know how many atoms are on the right side and how many atoms are on the left side. So you need to know atoms on the uh, actually number of atoms okay atoms on the right side on the right and the left side let's call an example for example i gave you to write to balance the chemical equation between sodium okay between sodium and the oxygen what would be your chemical equation first we need to know the symbol for sodium for sodium is n a and the state symbol is solid plus oxygen is double o so it's, it's o with a two because oxygen is a dimolecule and it's a gas now whenever a metal reacts to the oxygen they form one compound called, called an oxide so this will we're going to form sodium oxide now, how are going to form sodium oxide? Here's what you know. Sodium is found in group 1. Is found in group 1. Sodium is found in group 1. And therefore, it's a metal. So it has got it. It's gaining one electron. Oxygen is found in group 6. So it needs two electrons to have eight electrons in the outer shell. So oxygen is like this. So these two will come down here. And this one here will come here. So we're going to have sodium oxide like that. So this will be our answer here. Sodium oxide as a solid. Now the question is, is it balanced? No. How many sodium atoms do we have here? We have two. So I'm going to put a two in front here. Is oxygen balanced? Let's first before we go anywhere. Let's balance oxygen. Here oxygen is two. Here oxygen is what? Is, uh, is one. So we need to put a two in front. And we have four now this two is multiplying everything here so two times two is four sodium two times one is two oxygen so we're going to put a four in front here so that it's now balanced let's look at another example let's say i give you to write between uh magnesium and the water okay magnesium and water what would be your what's the symbol for magnesium is mg and it's a solid and it's found in group two so since it's found in group two it has got something like this take no time and water is like this so i'm saying plus water plus water now, water is a liquid. That's the state symbol. Now, whenever a metal reacts with water, there are two uh, compounds that are formed. Now, where, what are those compounds? Name, this is a metal. When we branch 
water we are going to have we are going to have this hydrogen we are also going to have an hydroxide so these are the two compounds that make up water because it's positive it can't react with another positive it only react with a negative so this magnesium will tend to to combine with this and this one will remain alone so remember there's a two here there's a one there so we are going to have mg or h t because the two is is coming here we can't just write it to there no then plus what, what remained here it's hydrogen now hydrogen it's a gas so it has to occur in two atoms formula and it's a gas this is an aqueous is it balanced let's see if it is balanced magnesium is one here magnesium is one this two is multiplying everything you have two oxygen two hydrogen so on the on the right side oh sorry on this side here we have one magnesium we have two hydrogen one oxygen but here we have two plus two plus two hydrogen which there are four and two oxygen so we need to put a two here so that we have four hydrogen and two oxygen so this is now balanced so this is how you balance chemical equation just know the symbols the group where those elements are found then you'll be cool